uh, from the West... Maryland scene, yeah. Uh, Maryland, uh... Is he Maryland scene? Yeah, I, saw, yeah, I saw him in the, in the uh... The, uh, uh South, South Virginia, if I'm, if I'm not mistaken. If I if I messed it up, I'm, I'm so sorry. Oh, well, I just happened to see him in the Xanadu Monthly. That's why I thought he was in the Maryland scene. Oh, yeah, but, yeah. Uh... He's, he's a traveler. He's, uh... Definitely uh, one of the one of my favorite people at the moment. Uh, but here we go. Ender's J versus Superfly Drew, and Ender's J looking very solid so far. Mm -hmm. uh, all the pokes, all the whip punishes, all the baits just uh, looking super clean right now, and baiting the uh, DI once again. Superfly Drew uh, just uh, probably just needs a, a little bit of time just to kind of shake off the nerves, uh, warm up a little bit. Yeah, it's just right now Ender's timing has just been really amazing for the last uh, mat last round. He's been able to just time every one of his attacks so that. Drew was just not able to block it. Oh, uh, you're right. Yeah, it just always seemed like one step ahead uh, with you know the, the back steps and just knowing when to press buttons and the block. Mm -hmm. Um, so it really feels like the onus is on us to fight Drew to to force Ender's to try to limit some options. Definitely. I mean, that's also Sofatia's game plan, most part, like to make uh, your opponent make a mistake essentially. Exactly, and she she's got uh, a lot of tools like to bait herself. Um, and one of the main reasons is that she has, uh, oh, there it is. Holy crap, that's some good reaction. Uh, Doofy-Doo's punish game is, uh, definitely top tier as far as, like, block punishment. Um, I-14, uh, the I-14, you know, Death Fist stab. stab. Yep. Uh, probably the best I-14 game, uh, without any, uh, you know, meter restrictions or, uh, lethal hit conditions. Yes. Um, but Enter is gonna know that, so he's gonna... Not gonna have had too many opportunities to uh, throw out a you know minus fourteen or worse on block move. Uh, the one I would say would be rising A, just because it covers like so much space. Uh, horizontal mid does so much damage, but it is risky and snap punishable. But I don't think Ender's J is gonna stay in that too much in this matchup, just because you know he should know that speed can punish yes. so hard. I um, think most of the Supply Drew looking really good in this round, though. Um, Gage is uh, blinking a little bit, has two um, bars of meter, but uh, definitely showing kinds of life in this matchup. Yeah, I was just about to say, it looks like Drew finally like shook off the nerves and like finally got down the timing to uh, play against Enders. Maybe but, he was yeah. just like, needed the uh, warm-up. Yeah, it's kind of woke, woke up a little bit, right? Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Um, but here's the, um, the monstrosity that is the Season 2 Sophia Soul Charge. Scary stuff, man. But good defense from Ender's Day, not really uh, getting uh, any not getting turn debated. on investment of the Soul Charge from Superfly Drew, but we're gonna just try uh, one more time. Oh, get caught by the 6... Uh, oh, A6BB. Oh my goodness. Man, that Drew... was so sick because, like, despite being uh, minus 8 from blocking that Soul Charge, uh, Ender's Day seemed like he knew that he had the range uh, for the, a uh, the Soul Charge version of the A6 to basically beat out the startup of the Sophia. Yeah, the Angel Step, yeah. Yeah, the Angel Step uh, A plus B. Um, it, it does have some range, but like it, she she needs some time to like start up, not to mention she was just uh, farther away. Um, but it looks like the Soul Charge A6 from Cervantes just kind of uh, covered more space and was just able to just get the tip range uh, counter hit off that Sophia Soul Charge move attempt. I, I thought that was uh, pretty interesting. Mm hmm. I mean, I hope that Ender knew that it was just like, that was big brain play by him and not just him spamming. <laughs> <laughs> but it, it seems like it makes sense, right? Because, like, just, uh, sir, you know, that the range of A6 is uh, pretty interesting. And, like, and, and, and like even if, like, Supply Drew, like, didn't do that, like, you know, he, he would have, uh, you know, blocked some gun shots. Definitely, sure. So it felt like, you know, percentage plays wise, like, that was, uh, that was pretty good on Ender's Day to Yes, for sure. So, well, maybe West Bandit, who knows? <laughs> <laughs> who knows? So that match started off with Superfly Drew starting at 50% health, just saying. <laughs> like, oh my goodness. That 2 A plus B just chunks so hard. Oh, and he's dead, I yeah, think. Yeah, a good way to make a comeback, uh, getting that A plus B lethal hit. Oh! Well, can't count out Drew yet. Oh, be good lethal hit by a Drew before. Oh, and NJ just like, oh my god, just caught him backstepping, just barely. Mm hmm. Oh, down to the wire. One there. Oh, out grab. This is scary stuff. This is, this is tense. Yeah, you both of them should have died. Yeah. <laughs> one of them should have died. Yeah. Okay, Ah, nice. there we go. Just the, finishing it off with the low. Yeah, just kind of a inch your way into just ending the round kind of style there. Yep. The very last moment. Alright. Oh, and there's doing a lot of horizontal to stop Drew from like stepping. And drop the punish. Um, I think that was too slow. I think that was the correct punish. Just 
Yes. Oh, excellent auto GI by Andrews. Immediately catching him with the B2. Shots. Looking guard a little bit. Pew pew. Oh, that's a little too far. Is that actually a punish? Wow. That's kind of insane. Oh, uh, that was crazy because uh, he misjudged the, the spacing of that lightning strike. In fact, that it didn't even touch. Uh, gave Andrews J the opportunity to do a uh, a whip punish like that. Like the lightning strike uh, completely whiffed. And then you're just having a, a dumb recovering Sophia. <laughs> um, but it looks like NSJ like you know saw that situation before, so he knew exactly what to do. Getting the Alchemist awesome run up into the CE, good stuff. Yeah, no, that was actually a really good reaction by uh, Enders. I definitely wouldn't have been able to uh, immediately CE after that. Like not only that, he moved up to CE. He dashed forward at then CE. That was hilarious. One hundred percent, and just like this high step. Alright, the Superfly Drew not going. Oh, I no. don't think that's what not he wanted to do. That. Yeah, definitely that didn't. Be, that had to be a Soul Attack. Or a Soul Charge, I don't know. Definitely not a... Oh yeah, I think it definitely was a Soul Attack, yeah. Yeah, he, he, he just wanted to just like the Lightning Strike. Mm -hmm. Oh, that oh, is that's so a little much too guard, far. Was out of range for the follow-up. Oh, no punish. Alright, gets the guard break, but... Uh, he could have definitely won that without breaking the guard there. It would have been definitely huge for this... Uh, this round for him. Yeah, I mean, I'm I, I'm happy it was a, a round win, but that was a basically costly round win because yeah, spent all the meter and setting that the red guard gauge. Mm -hmm. So yeah, so it's gonna be rough. Uh, won't be a factor in this uh, round unless he's really proactive. He's <laughs> just A plus B for days. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, that's at least thirty percent already. All right, goes for the Yoki. Could just be like the long con, so it could be a factor in the next round if it's not a factor in this round. Possibly. But he still needs to win this round in order to get the long con. <laughs> Alright, scary situation for uh, Drew right now because Enders has two meters, whereas he has none. He's getting close to the first meter though. Ooh, Ooh steps okay, a long no, way. A giant hitbox, uh, despite the fact that Enders Day uh, looks like he uh, stepped something. You know what? You're right. Look at that. Enders is already back to red. Jesus. Oh no, no! Oh, wrong punish. Stab attempt, but yeah. yeah that was a mistake. Oh no, I, maybe he was going for the, uh, the guard break. Alright. But... Good, yeah. good awareness by Enders, noticing that the clock was running out on him. Yeah, putting a stop on the clock right there, good stuff, but... Oh, ...desperation, D.I. Yeah. just gets some shot in the face. Mm. The battle is over. Do you think he should have soul charged right then and there, just to be like... ...despite... Uh, I, you know what, I would say so. Yeah, despite, because, uh, soul... like... I'm sorry. Because, uh, soul charge, um, I, I'm, I'm sure he prefers to do, you know, get into soul charge, uh, with a soul attack, but... The good thing about Soul Charge is also what like, gives you, you know, it's almost like a like a Guilty Gear burst, right? Just like if you're in a situation that you don't like, uh, then Soul Charge get out of it, right? And just give yourself some space. So that was a situation where he needed to give himself that space uh, because he was at frame disadvantage, uh, yeah. you know, giving energy.